Imagine going back in time to see the dinosaurs or jumping forward to witness the future. Sounds fascinating, doesn't it? But how close are we to making time travel a reality and what does science say about it? Time travel has always been a tantalizing concept, one that has sparked the human imagination for centuries. It's a staple of science fiction, from H.G. Wells' Time Machine to the beloved Doctor Who series. But it's not just the realm of storytellers and filmmakers. Scientists, too, have been intrigued by the possibility of moving through time. Now, you might be wondering, how close are we to making time travel a reality? The answer to that question lies in our understanding of physics and the fundamental laws that govern our universe. The concept of time travel isn't as far-fetched as it might seem. In fact, according to Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, it might be possible. This theory tells us that space and time are not separate entities, but are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. And this space-time can be warped and twisted by the gravity of massive objects, potentially creating bridges or wormholes that could allow for time travel. However, there are several challenges that we need to overcome. First, we need to figure out how to create a wormhole. And even if we could create one, there's the question of stability. Would the wormhole stay open long enough for us to pass through? Moreover, would it be safe to travel through a wormhole? The immense gravitational forces could potentially be deadly. Another intriguing concept in the realm of time travel is the idea of closed time-like curves. These are paths in space-time that loop back on themselves, potentially allowing for travel back in time. However, the existence of such curves is still purely theoretical. In the end, the question of whether time travel is possible is still open. But one thing is clear. If we ever hope to turn this science fiction dream into reality, we'll need to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. To answer this, we need to delve into the world of physics and explore the theories that govern our universe. Stepping into the realm of physics, the first stop is Einstein's theory of general relativity. This revolutionary theory, proposed over a century ago, has been a cornerstone in our understanding of the universe. In essence, general relativity describes how mass and energy interact with the fabric of space-time itself, causing it to curve. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. The heart of this theory lies in Einstein's field equations. These complex mathematical expressions define how the curvature of space-time corresponds to the energy and momentum present in that region. It's like a cosmic dance, where matter tells space-time how to curve, and space-time tells matter how to move. This brings us to an interesting implication of general relativity, the possibility of time travel. Now, Einstein himself never claimed that his theory allowed for time travel, but what's intriguing is that it doesn't explicitly rule it out either. Imagine space-time as a vast, flexible sheet. Massive objects like stars and planets cause dips and curvatures in this sheet. Now, what if this sheet could be manipulated in such a way that it folds onto itself, forming a shortcut through space-time? This is the concept of a wormhole, a theoretical passage through space-time that could potentially allow for time travel. But before we get carried away with the idea of hopping into a wormhole to visit dinosaurs or future civilizations, it's important to note that these are purely theoretical constructs at this point. The existence of wormholes is yet to be proven, and even if they do exist, there are myriad challenges to using them for time travel, not least of which is the immense energy required to keep one stable. Still, the fact that general relativity opens the door to such mind-bending possibilities is a testament to its profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It has laid the foundation for the concept of time travel and it continues to inspire scientists to explore the boundaries of what might be possible. This theory, while it doesn't make time travel seem possible, it doesn't rule it out either. Moving further, let's explore the Schwarzschild metric and the Kerr metric. The Schwarzschild metric, named after the brilliant physicist Carl Schwarzschild, defines the gravitational field outside a non-rotating spherical mass. This metric is crucial for understanding black holes and the possibility of wormholes. While the equation may look daunting, in essence, it describes how space and time are warped by a massive object. Now, let's turn our attention to the Kerr metric. This equation, named after Roy P. Kerr, describes the geometry of space-time around a rotating mass, such as a spinning black hole. The equation is more complex due to the rotation term, but it holds the potential key to understanding time travel via wormholes. Wormholes, or to give them their full title, Einstein-Rosen bridges, are theoretical passages through space-time. 
They are described by solutions to Einstein's field equations, which include the Schwarzschild and Kerr metrics we've just discussed. In theory, a wormhole could connect two distant points in the universe, making travel between them almost instantaneous. Imagine stepping through a door in London and coming out in Sydney, Australia. That's the potential power of a wormhole. However, as exciting as this sounds, it's important to note that these are purely theoretical constructs at this point. Despite our best efforts, we have yet to observe a wormhole directly. They remain elusive, hidden within the complex mathematics of Einstein's general relativity. Moreover, even if we did find a wormhole, there's no guarantee we could use it for time travel. The intense gravitational forces could rip apart anything that tries to pass through. We also don't know if wormholes are stable or if they would collapse the moment anything tries to enter. While wormholes could theoretically allow for time travel, their existence remains unproven. The journey to uncover the reality of time travel is far from over, but with each scientific breakthrough, we edge a little bit closer to understanding the enigma of time. Quantum mechanics further complicates our understanding of time travel. Firstly, let's delve into Hawking radiation. This theory, brought to us by none other than Stephen Hawking himself, suggests that black holes aren't as black as they seem. They emit a faint radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. The temperature of this radiation is given by a formula involving the mass of the black hole, the gravitational constant, the speed of light, Planck's constant and Boltzmann's constant. This tiny whisper of energy suggests that black holes slowly evaporate over eons, a concept that adds another layer of complexity when considering black holes as potential gateways for time travel. Next, we have quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that Einstein rather affectionately referred to as spooky action at a distance. When two quantum particles become entangled, their states become intertwined, no matter how far apart they are. Change the state of one and the other responds instantly. This seemingly instantaneous communication defies our conventional understanding of time and space and raises tantalizing possibilities for teleportation and, yes, even time travel. Lastly, there's time dilation, a concept that comes from Einstein's theory of special relativity. It tells us that time doesn't tick at the same rate for everyone. The faster you move, the slower time passes for you. Relative to someone who is stationary, this is not just theoretical. GPS satellites have to correct for this effect daily to maintain accuracy. The idea of time slowing down or speeding up depending on your speed or gravitational field shatters our intuitive understanding of a universal, constant time and opens the door to the concept of time travel. However, despite these tantalizing hints, quantum mechanics also presents us with conundrums like the grandfather paradox. This is the idea that if time travel were possible, you could go back in time and prevent your own birth, creating a paradox. Such paradoxes make the concept of time travel incredibly complex and potentially inconsistent. The realm of quantum mechanics makes time travel seem more like a paradox. So, with all these theories and concepts, where do we stand in 2024, you might ask? Well, the reality of time travel is sadly not as close as our sci-fi dreams would hope. The current scientific consensus poses significant challenges. Firstly, the energy requirements for wormholes, as per Thorne's calculations, suggest energy densities that defy our known physics often, necessitating negative energy densities. Secondly, cosmic strings, uh, those hypothetical one-dimensional defects in space-time, could potentially allow for time travel, but their existence is yet to be proven. Finally, the Alcubierre warp drive, a speculative idea that would permit faster-than-light travel, remains firmly in the realm of theory, with no practical application in sight. Despite these hurdles, our understanding of time and space continues to evolve. While we may not be ready to pack our bags for a time travel adventure yet, the quest to understand the mysteries of time continues and who knows what future discoveries might bring.